Hey everyone, what's up? How are you? Uh, Taryn here with Blue Moon. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I have just another quick 30 minutes full body flow for you. So if you're maybe short on time or you just want to get your body, your energy moving, um, this is going to be a perfect video for you. So we're just going to go ahead and start uh, standing. As you're ready, just kind of make your way to the top of your mat. And we'll just start in mountain pose, so feet hip distance. Just start to round down through all four corners of the feet. And roll the shoulders down and back. Start to open up through your chest. And then just find some length through your spine. We'll bring the palms of the hands together, the center of your chest. And then just take a moment here. Start to just begin to notice your breath. So just taking a couple deep breaths. Slowing down from your day. And as you're here, maybe set an intention for your practice. Maybe something super simple, something positive, something that resonates with your heart. And then just gently bow inward towards your heart space, sealing it in with gratitude. Go ahead and gently blink the eyes open. We'll take a deep breath and circle the arms all the way overhead. Reach up out of your waist. Create space here. Palms touch. And then we're just going to bend the knees a lot. Start to come all the way down into a forward fold. So we can hang out here. Arms, head heavy. You can always grab your opposite elbows here. Maybe gently sway right to left. Start to decompress your spine. Keeping the back of the neck long. And just completely melting over the legs. Good. Go ahead and release the elbows here. And then we'll just take a nice halfway lift. So inhale, pull the belly in. Find length through your spine. Exhale and slowly, gently forward fold. We're just going to step it right back into plank. So top of your push-up. Knees down or not if you choose to modify this position. And then just draw some awareness to your abdominal muscles. Just start to create some heat, pulling the belly in and up. And then really start to dome through your upper back so the shoulder blades begin to move away from your spine. And then we'll just rock back and forth a little bit here, keeping hips in line with your shoulders, neck in line with your spine, keeping the navel drawn in and up towards the back of your spine. Go, we'll go ahead and set your knees down. So stack the hips directly over your knees and shoulders over your wrists. Couple cat cows here. Let's start with the inhale breath. Drop the belly down, arch your spine, fill up with breath. And then exhale right into cat. Press into the hands, round through your spine as you empty your lungs. And again, deep breath in, belly down. Start to lift your hips, your heart. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone under, release the head all the way down, pulling the belly in. Good, let's do one more full round inhale through your cow and then exhale through your cat. Good, come back into a neutral tabletop position. Let's tuck the toes, send the hips back and up, coming right into downward facing dog. And then maybe finding some movement here, pedaling out through your heels. Just alternate bending your knees, even shake out your head here. Just opening and lengthening the back side of the body. Wherever you're at with your breath, go ahead and just exhale completely. And then draw a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and gently sigh it out. Good. We're going to wave the body forward. Come all the way back into plank. Again, pulling the belly in and up. From here, shift forward past your wrist, and we're just going to lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes, and inhale just to a gentle cobra. So lifting from the back side of your heart, head comes up last. Exhale, slowly release it down. Walk your hands down a little bit closer to the rib cage, spread through your fingers, and then inhale, maybe take it up a little bit higher, extending the arms, shoulders, down and back. Exhale, slowly release it down, keeping the elbows in close. One more time, inhale to lift, maybe this time upward facing dog with the hips lifted. Good, set your knees down. Send your hips all the way back to your heels, child's pose. 
You create some space between the knees, the thighs. You can always sway your hips here, maybe rock your head from side to side. And then just direct your attention back inward, back to your breath, returning to the shape any point throughout your practice if maybe you just personally need to slow down and reconnect. Okay, we're going to move through a couple mini vinyasas here. So extend the arms all the way forward towards the top of your mat. We're going to lift off the heels, come right into your cat pose, and then right back into cobra or upward facing dog, pulling the heart through the shoulders. Maybe lift the gaze, and then exhale, send it right back into child's pose, hips to your heels. Find that length through the spine. We'll do that twice more. So pull the belly in as you round through cat, and then slowly, gently hips down, chest up. Use your belly to send your hips all the way back to your heels. Child's pose. Good. One last time. Moving through each and every vertebrae of your spine. So just take your time here. And shoulders all the way down and back. Create space between the ears and the shoulders. Exhale. We'll press all the way back through your downward facing dog. And spreading through the fingers. Allow the heels to gently lower. And then from here, look forward and come all the way back up to the top of your mat so you can walk, step, or maybe hop up. Inhale, feet together, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Soften through your knees. We're just going to slowly round up, so arms, head, super heavy. Inhale, upward salute. Full breath in, palms touch. Exhale, surrender all the way back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Let your hands step if you'd like. You can hop back and we'll flow here. So shift forward, exhale either belly to cobra or chaturanga to your upward facing dog. Good, press back, downward facing dog. And then just return to your breath. Few rounds sun A, so look forward, walk step or hop all the way back up top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift your version. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale as you rise, either rounding up or reverse swan dive. Hips slightly forward, chest up. And then just rein it all the way back down, forward fold. Again, halfway lift. Pull the belly in, heart forward. Plant your hands, step or hop back. So we want to keep the elbows in super close to your body as you lower. And then shoulders down and back. Use that abdominal strength to send your hips back. Downward dog. Good. Let's go two more rounds. Just like that, look forward. Soft landing at the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Root down, inhale, rise. Upward salute. Full breath in. Full breath out, surrender all the way back down. Again, halfway lift, find that length. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float back. Moving with your breath, exhale, chaturanga. Deep breath in. And then exhale, downward facing dog, send it all the way back. Good, so lift your heels. Look forward, walk, step or float up. Top of your mat, inhale to lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise, upward salute. And then maybe sigh it out here as you forward fold, cleansing breath, let something go. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Let your hands step or hop back. And exhale, lower through chaturanga. Good, untuck the toes as you pull the heart forward. And then just send it all the way back, downward dog. Good, strong breath in. And just a full breath out. Inhale, we'll float the right leg up into your three-legged dog. You might want to let it open up here, bending your knee to stack your hips. And find some movement through your ankle, your toes. Tap into the abdominal strength here. We're going to round through the spine. Step that right foot all the way forward between your hands. If it didn't make it, just grab it, scooch it up, 
We'll ground your back heel down. Inhale, warrior one. So slowly rise. And then just take a moment to arrive here. You can always kind of feel it out. Hands on your hips, bringing your left hip forward, right hip back. And then just tilt your pelvis forward slightly so the tailbone's not sticking out. We're going to take our eagle arms. So right arm underneath your left. Cross the elbows, then the wrists. And then lift the arms up. Find just a gentle backward bend here. And then we'll slowly fold. So just like humble warrior, start to fold to the inside of the right leg. Release your head. Keep your arms crossed here, but just let them hang heavy. Good. Push through strong legs. Inhale, rise. Coming back through warrior one. And then we'll open to the left. Warrior two. You might need to open the legs a little bit wider. And then bend your right knee. Stack it over your ankle. Keeping your spine straight in the center. So head over heart. Shoulders over your hips. I'm going to take the right elbow on top of your right thigh. Sweep your left hand down. Forward. And then wrap it all the way around. Stacking shoulders. And just maintaining the long line of energy through the left side of your body. Inhale, come back through warrior two. Straighten your right leg. We're going to spin the toes to the left edge of your mat. Arms back, chest up, and then slowly forward fold. So bring it all the way down. We're going to grab for the feet, either outer edges, heels, ankles, whatever is available to you. And then actively pull on the feet, lifting your hips up, and just lengthening down from the lower spine. Couple deep breaths. You can roll a little bit more. Weight forward towards your toes. Really opening up the backs of the legs, the hips, lengthening the spine down. Good. Let's go ahead, release the grip. Extend the arms out to your side and just reverse coming all the way back up through center. Spin the right toes to the top of your mat, heels in one line for a triangle pose. Shift your left hip back, reach forward. And then tilt the arms, right arm down, left arm up. We're aiming for 12 and 6 o'clock here. And maintain length through your spine. Take this into a half bind. Back of the left hand drops to the lower spine. You can start to wrap it around for the top of your right thigh. Gently peel the left shoulder back. Inhale, come all the way up through center. And reverse warrior. Deep into the right knee. Send the right arm all the way up and back. Good. Exhale. Let's cartwheel it down to frame the right foot. Step back plank. Or you can go straight to downward facing dog if you'd like to skip your flow. Your body, your practice. And then we'll send it all the way back. Downward facing dog. And just take three strong breaths here. Good. As you're ready, let's float the left leg up. Three-legged dog. You can let it open up here. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Good. And then work on that soft landing here. Left foot steps all the way forward between your hands. Knee over ankle. And then ground your back heel down. Warrior one, slowly rise. And then you can feel it out here. Right hip forward, left hip back. So the spine is aligned. Grounding down to that right heel. And then we'll take our eagle arms here. Left arm now underneath the right. Cross elbows, wrists. Keep that left knee bent. And then inhale gently, backward bend, lifting the elbows, the fingertips up. Exhale, humble eagle warrior. Start to fold to the inside of your left leg. Head heavy. Arms heavy, deep breaths. Good, root down, inhale, rise. Warrior one. And then open, warrior two, arms down parallel to the floor. Maybe a little bit wider step here. Stack knee over ankle, spine straight in the center. Contract your right thigh, ground to the outer edge of the right foot to the floor. 
And then we'll take that modified side angle. So left forearms come on top of the thigh. Just sweep that right arm down, forward, and then start to stack the shoulders, opening up through your chest. Right hip down and forward. And you can start to press the left knee back here, opening up more through your hips. Inhale, rise, come back through warrior two. Again, we'll straighten the left leg, spin the toes to the edge of your mat, feet parallel, arms back, chest up, and then slowly fold. Arms down, head down, deep breath in, and full breath out. Good, let's find a half lift here. So lots of length through your spine. We'll keep the left hand down. You can tent your fingers or palm flat down. And then we'll just start to peel the right arm all the way up. So try to keep the hips square. So you're just twisting through your waist. You can always look towards the right thumb only if that feels comfortable in your neck. And then release, forward fold, right hand down, head down, length in the spine. Again, flat back, half lift, right hand down now, start to gently peel the left arm up. Pull your belly in. Maybe look towards left thumb. Forward fold, left hand down one more time, release. And then engage the legs here, and then we'll slowly reverse out, coming all the way up through standing. Spin the le left toes back to the top of your mat for a triangle. So keeping the legs straight, shift your right hip back, reach beyond your toes, and then we'll tilt left arm down, right arm up. Leaning back a bit, so the torso is stacked over the left leg. Body's in one plane. And then half bind, right hand drops all the way down. Lower spine or the top of your left thigh, gently peel your right shoulder back. Come all the way up through center and then right into your reverse warrior, deep bend to the left knee. Left arm up and back. Good, exhale. We'll rain it all the way down, frame the left foot, and just step yourself right back into plank. Or if you want to skip your flow, downward facing dog, up to you. Inhale to cobra or up dog. And then we'll all meet in downward dog. And strong breath in. And just a cleansing breath out. Okay, we're going to come back to the top of your mat, walk step, or you can hop up. Inhale to find length, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise, upward salute. We're gonna keep the arms extended here. Open your feet a little bit wider, so maybe mat. Distance, toes out, heels in. And we're just gonna take three deep squats here. So bend the knees, sink your hips all the way down, and then press yourself all the way back up. Really engage the legs at the top. Twice more, just like that. Take it nice and low, keeping the belly pulled in, spine straight. Last time. Weight is in your heels, chest lifted. Press it all the way back up. Good. This last one here, we're going to take it all the way down into Malasana. So now you can draw the hands down to your heart. Feel free to adjust if you need more space, less space. Connect the elbows to the knees and then start to lift up through your heart. Shoulders down and back. Good. From here, we're going to set the hands down. Step the left foot back. Left knee comes down. And then we'll gently press the right hand to the inside of your right knee. And very gently press it back. Maybe rolling onto the outer edge of your right foot. Keeping chest open here. And your breath steady. Good. From here, let's extend that right arm all the way up, deepening the twist. And if you want to, maybe find that bind. Bending the left knee, right hand reaches back. Let's keep the arms straight up first here. Nice big twist, chest open. And then you can start to draw that left heel a little bit closer in towards your hips. Good. We're going to release. Right hand down. Tuck your left toes and lift your left knee up. We're going to ground your heel all the way down and then send the hips all the way over to the left heel. We'll spin the right toes straight up. And then we'll twist here. So left arm down, peel the right arm all the way up. 
Good. Bring it all the way back around to the top of your mat. Left foot steps back up. Malasana. Hips down, chest up. Good. We'll release. Hands down. Float your hips up. Spin your toes straight forward. And we'll interlace the fingers right at the base of your spine. Gently start to extend the arms, allowing, allowing them to just gently move up and over. Opening up your shoulders. Good. Hands come to the lower spine. Just let them slide down the legs. Halfway lift, flat back. And then exhale, fold. Let's take it right back into Malasana. Toes out, heels in. Bend your knees. Find that low squat. Opening up your hips. Good. Now we'll step the right foot back for a lizard lunge. So right knee comes down. Start with the left hand, the inside of your knee, and then gently press the knee towards the left. Maybe roll onto the outer edge of the foot. Good, root down through the right hand and extend the left arm all the way up. Stay here or you can find that bind. Gently bend the right knee. Left hand reaches back. Let's start with the left arm straight for now. Chest open, opening up to your heart. And then getting into the quadricep, you can start to draw the left, right heel, excuse me, a little bit closer in towards your hips. And then untwist. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, ground your right heel, and then we're going to send it all the way over. So start to squat towards your right heel, spinning the left toes all the way up towards the ceiling. And then right hand down, we'll peel the left arm up. Nice job. Left hand down. Stay low. Bend through the knees. Come all the way back around through lizard. And then right back up, Malasana. Right foot to the outside of your right hand. And then you can hang out right here. If you want to play with your crow pose here, a little arm balance, plant your palms. We'll lift the hips up. Spin knees, toes straight forward. And just give yourself some space between your toes, your wrists. Lift your heels. Come high onto the toes. So we're aiming to get the knees high towards shoulders, triceps. And then once you find that connection, just start to shift your weight forward. Keep your eyes forward, belly in. Moving towards it. You don't have to move into it today. Building physical, mental strength each time you practice. Good. Let's release. Feet down. Hips up. Gorilla pose. Feel your toes up and stand on the palms of your hands. Releasing any pressure in your wrists. Release your head straight down here. Good. One at a time. Go ahead. Release your hands. Inhale to a halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale. Fold. Inhale to rise. Upward salute. From here, go ahead and step the feet all the way together. Bend your knees, chair pose. Shift the weight to your heels, squeeze your knees, activate your inner thighs. Relax your shoulders. Good, we're just going to take it all the way down and find a seat. Good, so once the hips are grounded, come right into your Navasana boat pose. So you can hold the back of the thighs, you can keep your knees bent, or maybe extend the legs. Maintain length through your spine, pulling the belly in. One more breath, and then release feet down. Soles of the feet come together. We're going to leave lots of space between your hips and your heels. Palms face up, and just start to dive your hands underneath your ankles so that you're reaching around for the tops of your feet. And then just round through your spine. Relax your shoulders, the back of the neck. Go head heavy. And just let gravity do the work here. Drawing knees down. Opening up through your hips, slowing the breath. Good, let's slowly roll up through the spine. Draw the knees together, hold at the back of your thighs, and then just go ahead and roll all the way onto your backs. Let's draw the knees in. Hold on loosely here, maybe rock a little side to side. Just gently massaging the lower back.
Good, let's open up it right into happy baby. Flex the soles of the feet towards the ceiling. You can hold the outer edges here. Maybe hook your peace sign fingers around your big toes. And you can continue to rock from side to side. Start to roll your hips and sacrum down. Just to lengthen through the lower back. Good, let's bring the soles of the feet back together, holding around outer edges of feet or ankles. Begin to lower your heels towards your hips and then energetically press your knees away from your shoulders. And then release your feet. Extend the legs long onto your mat. So we're gonna come right into fish pose here. With your arms by your sides, palms flat down, Start to roll your hips from side to side so that you're now sitting on the back of your hands. Now start to slide the elbows underneath, shoulders underneath, and imagine there's that hook attached to your heart. You're being lifted up through your chest. So you can take the crown of your head to your mat. We want the gaze now behind you. Point your toes away from you and just actively press into your elbows. And breathe into your heart space. Yeah, we'll start with the back of the head. Go ahead, slide your head all the way down. Release the arms. And we'll bend the right knee up to your chest. So interlace the fingers. Hug it straight down towards your right shoulder. Hugging elbows in. Maybe flex your left toes to ground your calf muscle. And then we'll twist here, extending the right arm out to your side. Track the right leg across your body. If you wanted to take this one step further, we can bind, bending your left knee. So your right hand will reach down. And if it's available to you, awesome. If not, no worries. And then just try to draw that right shoulder, right knee down, deepening the twist here. Good, untwist. Draw the knees back into your chest. Just kind of reset your hips, your spine, and we'll extend the right leg long onto your mat. Interlace the fingers, and then start to hug your knee towards your left shoulder. And then left arm out to your side. Exhale, left leg across. You can stay right here. If you're Binding, start to bend the right knee, left hand reaches down for the right foot. And then just try to keep your chest really open here, shoulders grounded. Twisting, rinsing the spine, detoxifying the body. And then untwist. One last time, draw the knees back in towards your heart. And just offer yourself love. Gratitude. And then we'll extend both legs long onto your mat for Shavasana. The toes and ankles fall open. Arms rest by your sides. Flip the palms facing upward. Mudra of receiving. And then just softly close your eyes. Take a moment just to scan down your body. Completely release your weight. Just begin to soften. And cultivating stillness. And just taking this time to accept yourself, being comfortable with exactly where you're at, and knowing that you're exactly where you're meant to be. And stay in Shavasana as long as it serves you. As always, thank you for tuning in and sharing your energy with me from my heart to your heart. Namaste.